Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Hector Verdugo. I am the Senior Vice President of Admissions here at Academy of Art University here in San Francisco, California. Hope everybody's having a good day today because what we want to do today is we want to talk a little bit about financial aid. You know, we tend to find that students are really, you know, trying to figure out how they're going to pay for school and sometimes this can be an intimidating process. And so what we wanted to do today was really give a really good overview and basically try to teach you all how those steps work and offer you our assistance. So uh, today's goal here is to try to educate you more on how the financial aid process works, where to go, what to click on, terminology, things that you might not be familiar with, but I guarantee you, if you pay attention today, should be really helpful and help you to feel a little bit easier or a little bit more at ease as you're going through the financial aid process. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce Maria Yurvit. I've known Maria for a really long time. She's wonderful. She's definitely one of the best and most knowledgeable people I know about financial aid. Uh, she also is one of our managers here in our financial aid department, particularly working with new students. So she's going to take the lead here today with talking a little bit about financial aid, the process, and trying to help everybody learn a little bit more about how this works here. So I'll go ahead and pass this over to Maria, and I'll see you on the chat. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon, evening. Welcome. Um, glad you all uh, took the time to join us today to learn a little bit more about financial aid. I know it's probably not most students' favorite part about enrolling in school, but it's definitely important. So we just wanted to go through the process here at the Academy of Art University. Uh, for those of you who have never gone through financial aid or have, our process might be a little bit different than what you're used to. So definitely wanted to go over that process, talk a little bit about something called the FAFSA, um, if you guys aren't uh, familiar with it, most important part about applying for financial aid. Um, so let's jump right in and start talking about financial aid. Process here at the Academy of Art University might be a little bit different than you're used to. For those of you who are in high school, who've maybe had uh, siblings or uh, family members going through the financial aid process, I know when I was in school, it's very different than the way that we work here at the Academy of Art University. We definitely take a more personalized approach to financial aid. And for each of our students that apply to school, you'll be assigned to a your own financial aid representative. So that person is going to be assisting you with uh, any financial aid applications. So that be the FAFSA uh, that I briefly mentioned before, any other applications for financial aid. And once you've applied for financial aid, we're going to create a personalized plan that's going to show you uh, your cost, your resources, and work with you on that and just help you through the entire process, which includes all those forms at the end, which some don't only need to do once. So um, the financial aid process is really broken down into three steps. And I wanna go through those three steps with you. That step one is applying for financial aid. So that's that FAFSA that I briefly mentioned. So I keep saying FAFSA and it's, a, it's an acronym and it stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. And I really wanna emphasize the free um, because if any of you have ever gone to look at a FAFSA or researching anything about a FAFSA, it's free. So if any sites are asking you uh, to pay anything, please leave that site because you shouldn't have to pay anything. It is a free application. Um, it is something that needs to be done every year. So depending on when you're going to be starting school, you might need to do two. Once you do the FAFSA, you're gonna get a confirmation email. And that confirmation email is super important because that's gonna give us a little bit of a glimpse of what you're gonna be eligible for. And we can start working on that financial aid plan that I talked about. So step one is completing that FAFSA. All right, once you've completed your FAFSA, emailed your confirmation page to your financial aid representative, we're moving on to step two, and that's gonna be reviewing that financial aid plan. So that FAFSA is gonna apply you for all federal financial aid, which includes both grants and loans. And we're gonna use that and create a financial aid plan that's going to show you your cost of education. It's gonna even show housing for some of you students who are interested in coming on site. For some of you that are gonna be online, there's gonna be no housing. So we're really gonna cater a plan based on your uh, specific needs or whether you're on site or online, and then showing you what you're eligible for. So all your federal financial aid, if you have any other resources as well, showing you that and breaking down a plan that includes different um, course loads. If you're going to be taking part time because you're working or going full steam ahead full time, we can show you all those different scenarios. 
Um, for some of you who are dependent students, so some of you who are maybe 18, 17, still in high school, um, there is another application that we're going to also be talking to you about, something called the Parent PLUS loan, discussing that option with you and your parent to see if that is something that's going to be doable or, or, or right for you. So that's step two. Do your FAFSA step one, reviewing a financial aid plan step two. Step three is assisting you with all the paperwork. So there's there's some requirements that are required uh, for financial aid. If you've never borrowed loans before, um, you have to go through uh, an entrance counseling with the Department of Education just to learn a little bit about student loans. Uh, so we'll be assisting you with all those requirements, making sure that you're completing everything, um, any questions, walking you through everything, um, and then that's it. And some of these requirements only need to be done once, which is the great thing. Um, and some will be need to, need to be done every year. Like I said, that FAFSA is a yearly thing. Once a year, you're going to have to do a new FAFSA to reapply for financial aid for the upcoming semester. But that's really it. Three steps. Do your FAFSA, meet with your financial aid representative to go over a catered financial aid plan, and then go through all your requirements. So like I said, broken down into three steps, and we really take a personalized approach here at the Academy of Art to work with you through all those three steps, whether it be applying, doing your FAFSA, um, going through that financial aid plan, working through scenarios to figure out what's right for you, and then finishing up all your requirements. Um, so definitely wanted you to know um, that reaching out to your financial aid representative with questions, very important and encouraged, and also reaching back out to them to let them know your availability, keep them up to date on anything that you're working on, anything on your checklist or to-do list, super important that you're keeping them in on the loop on what's going on. But since the FAFSA is a very important part, I did want to go over that, but some of the federal financial aid that you can expect to see when you do your FAFSA, something called a Pell Grant, free money that does not need to be repaid, something called an SCOG grant as well, also free money that does not need to be repaid. You can also expect to see subsidized and unsubsidized staffer loans, which are loans that are offered to students. They're not credit-based. Some of them do not accrue interest while you're in school. Uh, so definitely um, important resources to have available. Uh, Parent PLUS loan is another one of those that parents can use to help cover any additional costs, such as let's say housing, um, computer if you did need uh, before you started school. Um, for those graduate students out there, there is something called a graduate plus loan that does work very similarly to that parent plus loan. Work study. Work study is also available uh, by completing your FAFSA as well uh, to do student work uh, while you're working on campus, as well as Cal Grant. I know Cal Grant is something super important for those California residents Doing your FAFSA is part of the application and then submitting your GPA to the state is the other half, uh, but definitely a very important resource by completing your FAFSA. Some other types of financial aid, uh, not through the FAFSA, um, other scholarships and grants. Um, I know we'll be telling you about some of those, especially your admissions representative. For any of those uh, students who were in the military or uh, family or spouses of the military, uh, that could be a benefit as well. We do participate 100% in the Yellow Ribbon important, uh, Program, which is very important to know. Um, any students who are uh, receiving any tribal scholarships or benefits. And we do also have private student loans available. But I did want to take a moment to talk about the FAFSA, since that is the cornerstone and first step in, in the financial aid process and applies you for all federal financial aid. There are also other resources uh, that are open to you, such as Cal Grant, um, and it all starts with that FAFSA. And it's probably the most um, lengthy of all the requirements that you have to complete. So we did want to take a few minutes just to introduce you to the FAFSA for those of you who are not familiar. So. I did explain a little bit ago, FAFSA, I keep saying it, it kind of sounds like a strange word, but it's an acronym that does stand for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. Um, again, free emphasis, um, please do not pay anything if you're going online. Um, and once you complete your FAFSA, it's going to uh, give you a number that's called your expected family contribution. And that's really what tells us what you're gonna be eligible for in financial aid. We'll put that on a scale and that will de determine what you're eligible for. Um, and one of the very important key uh, components to your FAFSA is tax information. So you and possibly your parent will need to have tax information readily available in order to complete your FAFSA. 
So when we're talking about federal financial aid, who qualifies for financial aid? So um, students have to have a valid social security number and or alien registration number for those of you who are a permanent resident. Um, for males, you have to have registered for something called selective service. That's actually a question on the FAFSA, so you're not sure what that is, not sure if you've registered. It will give you the option to do that on your FAFSA, so don't worry. Um, you have to have graduated high school, so I know some of you are still in high school, and that's okay. Um, but when you do your FAFSA, you're going to be indicating when you expect to be graduating high school. Um, so you're, it's important that you put that date there. Um, or received a GED or uh, equivalent of a, uh, a state proficiency exam. And you have to be a degree seeker. Um, so that's important to know if you are applying for financial aid, you have to be a degree seeker. So really when you finish your FAFSA, you're gonna get again that confirmation email. And the first thing you wanna do is forward that to your financial aid representative. Um, and again, that's going to allow us to get an idea of what your eligibility is, get started on that financial aid plan. Once we've got your FAFSA completed, we'll set an appointment up with you and go over that catered financial aid plan that's going to include your FAFSA information, anything else that we know of, um, and work through uh, all the scenarios of different course loads, housing or online, really depending on what um, your uh, enrollment plans are. Um, and ask questions. I know sometimes we'll go through a financial aid plan, we'll have to revise it um, just to make sure that the financial aid plan is right for you. Um, talking about other sources of funding is also going to be what we're going to discuss during that appointment as well, um, as well as again any other questions that you have. And then that last step is completing those checklist items. So any requirements that are required before we can uh, fully process your financial aid. Your financial aid won't be fully processed until you actually sit in school and attend, um, but we're going to make sure all of those things are completed, tied up nice with a bow before you start school. So that way when school starts, all you have to worry about is doing well in your classes. But that's it. That's a, a, an overview of our financial aid process here, giving you a little bit of a glimpse of that FAFSA form, since I know that's probably uh, the most tricky part of applying for financial aid. But again, really important that you're communicating with us, um, working through that FAFSA, asking any questions as you have them, so that way we can make a financial aid plan that works for you. So we're really here to help you with any questions that you have um, through that step of the process. Um, but really wanted to just introduce you to the way we work here, because it is a little bit different than I think most folks are used to. So just ask. So Daryl has a question. I think Daryl said he was a freshman in high school, but his question was, how old do you have to be to do financial aid or to use FAFSA? That's a great question. There is no age requirement or limit. Um, so I know some uh, students out there might be 17 years old, might be 16, still in high school. So there really is no age limit. However, if you are a dependent student, then parent information is going to be uh, required on that FAFSA as well. Well, hey, well, everybody out there, hey, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining. We have tons of different events that come up all the time. Uh, we'd love for you to stay joining us and join us at any of the events that are coming up. I'm going to go ahead and throw a link here in the chat. So anybody out there that's interested in joining any of our upcoming events, please do. Uh, we do tons of different workshops, not just on financial aid, but we also do stuff on program specific, teaching you, uh, like we just did a music workshop. We've had people from Game of Thrones on. I mean, you name it, tons of different cool stuff. So please feel free to click on the events link and you'll see the different things that we're doing in workshops. And if there's anybody out there that just wants to reach out to us or talk, uh, I'll go ahead and drop my email in there. If you send me a quick email, I can route you over to your representative, your financial aid representative, uh, the financial aid department, whatever it is we can do to help you. Uh, just connect over with me and then I'll make sure to get you to the right person so we can help you out from there. Well, hey, well, I think we can go ahead and call it a night here for this one. So anybody needs anything, just feel free to reach out and hopefully we'll hear from you soon.